Ethan Calloway is standing by with what lies ahead for Ebron and Lana Barton. But we begin our coverage tonight with Kent Justice, who had that one on one interview with State Attorney Angela Corey. Kent, what was her reaction to Ebron's statement in court? Uh, Joy and Tom, that's certainly one of the issues I discussed with the leader of Northeast Florida's prosecutor's office. We also discussed the reason she felt the need to make a deal and why, like many of you in the community, she's not altogether happy about it either. The whole thing, it's, it's a very tragic case, Kent, very tragic. Angela Corey spoke with us Friday in the historic library at the state attorney's office. She told us she hears the community's call for justice, but she had to honor the duties of law and balance it with getting justice for Lonzi Barton. It's bittersweet. I, too, believe that bringing that child's body back to the community was important. We would not necessarily have made a deal like that if we had had any hope of finding the body on our own. It's easy to go ahead and speculate about what you, what you might want to think happened and imagine a scenario where you think this should be a lot stronger and a lot harsher. The problem is you then have to actually go about building a case with evidence and prove it. Police and prosecutors revealed what Ebron told them about Lonzi's death. That Ebron and Lana Barton, Lonzi's mother, engaged in sex and left Lonzi in a bathroom with water in the tub. Ebron says the boy drowned, that it was accidental, and that when he couldn't revive Lonzi, Ebron panicked and tried to cover things up. Ebron apologized in a letter to the court. Corey says she wants to believe Ebron based on his eventual cooperation. Regardless, the community has an explanation on what happened to Lonzi, and one of the people responsible will go to prison. The right thing to do would have been to seek medical attention for him, to call 911, to have rescue come out there, but also be responsible for the actions that he took. Putting him on death row, that's what everybody wants. I've seen the comments and heard the comments, oh, he should get the needle. Well, anybody who hurts a child should. That's not the way our laws are set up. That's not the way they're set up. When I asked Ms. Gloria about the letter from Ebron, she pointed to his actions leading police to Lonzi's remains. She says he truly seemed contrite. And then she said, quote, I hope his being contrite equates to remorse. Joy, Tom. Ken, thank you. The question now, how will today's developments impact the next phase of this case? Channel 4's Ethan Calloway joining us live with a look ahead. Ethan. Joy, today's developments brought to light tragic details not known before. Reuben Ebron now knows how long he will spend in prison, and there could be even more surprises right around the corner. After nearly seven months of twists and turns in a case that gripped the community, we now know what led to Lonzi Barton's death, according to Reuben Ebron. Ebron telling his attorneys Friday he and the child's mother, Lana Barton, locked Lonzi in a bathroom, later finding the 21-month-old dead after drowning in the bathtub. He had run out of cards. The game was over for him, and so he now had to work something out. What was the thing he could work out? I can tell you where the child is, and I can tell you how he demised. Whether it's true or not true, it's the only truth that's going to matter for, for the next 20 years. Local attorney Randy Reap has followed the case from the beginning. He says while Reuben Ebron's future may be set, the same can't be said for Lana Barton. Reap believes Barton, facing child neglect and drug charges, could see a reduced sentence moving forward. Reuben Ebron is not going to be a very good fact witness against anybody because he's been called a liar by the state of Florida for so long. It's going to be difficult to then turn around and say, believe him now. Reap tells us Lana Barton likely changed the outcome of the case, setting the gears in motion for today's development. Without her testimony, against Ebron, Reap says we may still not know what really became of Lonzi Barton. So it was her coming forward and taking responsibility that had the cascade effect to bringing the child home and resolving these cases. She probably should be rewarded for that. And Lana Barton pleaded guilty last month to child neglect and testified against Reuben Ebron. She still faces drug-related charges in Baker County. We're live downtown tonight. Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station.